and welcome to The Chaos Presents. Joining me today is Josh Gad. He was in so many things, including one of my favorites, uh, a musical, The Book of Mormon. Uh, thank you for being uh, here today. And now you're in the Disney's Frozen? Yes, I am in Disney's new animated feature film, Frozen. Um, and I, it's a dream come true for me because I remember I was sitting in a theater about 93 and I was watching this movie called Aladdin. And I turned to my mom and I saw this character, the genie played by Robin Williams and I said, I wanna do that one day. And now here I am playing the comic relief in a Disney animated musical film. Uh, you do, you play the uh, snowman, uh, Oglaf? Uh, what, what is the? His name is Olaf. 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 Uh, I think it's got okay, a, go. a Scandinavian feel to it. Uh, and uh, yeah, the character is just this lovable, heartfelt, joyous snowman who doesn't really understand uh, a lot about the world. For instance, he loves the idea of summer, uh, even though that's potentially a death wish for a snowman. Uh, and so he looks at the world with these very innocent eyes. And uh, he's one of those characters, those seldom characters that I've ever seen that has no cynicism whatsoever. It, well, I haven't seen some of the trailers just where it's him chasing his uh, nose and trying to get uh, put himself back together. Uh, he, he seems like he would have a little bit of cynicism just because he's constantly falling apart. You would think, but he, he always looks at things uh, with the glass half full. And I think even when he is uh, you know, to, to borrow your words, falling apart, he, he never sees that as an obstacle. It's um, an opportunity. What can you tell me about the uh, plot of the movie? Um, I, nothing, because I want you to experience it for the first time. <laughs> no. uh, the, the, the movie is essentially about these two sisters living in the, this kingdom called Arendelle. And uh, Anna and Elsa are the names of the sisters. And, and Elsa has this magical power where she can essentially create wintry-like conditions. And um, her power winds up getting the best of her, and the kingdom of Arendelle falls under a wintry tundra. Um, and so Anna needs to go track her down with the help of some partners, including my character Olaf, and uh, stop her before uh, it's too late and, and uh, winter takes over the kingdom forever. Okay, uh, so a city trapped in an eternal grip of winter sounds a lot like Buffalo. It is. Uh, it's actually it's a it's a biopic of Buffalo. I didn't want to say okay. that. Oh, that I did. Yeah, I didn't want to make yeah, it. That makes perfect sense. Right. I didn't want to make it too personal, but it is. It's about Buffalo. Okay. Uh, uh, what are you doing after? Like, I know you just you did the Frozen. What are you doing after this? Do you have any plans for other roles or? Uh, well, if, if you have something in mind, I, you can absolutely call my agents. You know, if there's a project that's shooting in Buffalo, I think it'll be interesting. We can do like a Fargo-like movie. Um, I am, I'm getting ready to do a, um, a TV show for FX with Billy Crystal called The Comedians. Uh, and then I'm doing a biopic of Sam Kinison uh, probably next spring. Um, so I've definitely got a full plate. Fantastic. Now, with so many media, you, you, you've done TV, uh, you've done movies, you've done Broadway. What is your favorite out of any of them? Oh, that's an unfair question. Each of them, <laughs> each of them is rewarding in its own way, and I really mean that. I, I, look, I am theater first and foremost simply because that was, that was my education, and, and that's where I really earned my stripes, uh, whether it was Book of Mormon or, or 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee which was my first Broadway show. So I, I always love the idea of a live audience and, and that, that feeling that you get from performing um, and that energy, but they're all fun. All right, well, thank you so much, Josh, for joining us here in Buffalo and Western New York. Hopefully the grip of winter will be uh, saved uh, as soon as we all go see the movie Frozen. Absolutely, thank you so much for having me.